hello hello once again welcome to Ayutech. this channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to program step by step and general it skills and then tricks in this lesson i'm going to show you 10 extra functions that you need to know so what are the functions i'm going to talk about we have some very important function in excel that when you know it will make your work very easy so these functions are not going to be in any particular order okay so the first function i'm going to talk about is the average how then do you find the average of a number using excel so for instance i have some brand and the name so i'm going to use this data to perform everything i want to do in this particular lesson so we have some brand let's say brand of cars and then the number so if i want to find the average the number i want to find the average i can easily come down here anywhere at all and then type the word average so let's assume i want to find average okay i want to find average so i want the average over to recite in this particular cell so I will, to find average i have to type in the equal to sign and then type the average keyword this way when i hit the tab key i can easily pick that with opening the parentheses i'll select from where i want to calculate my average so i want to ca calculate my average from fiat to what fiat i have more than one fiat within my list so that's from the top here to down so i'll just what I need to do is to drag from the top down here to my last figure when i close the parenthesis and hit enter basically i've calculated the average so the average for this number is so 444.18 and then the rest okay so that's basically how to calculate what average in excel but so that's my first word my first function the next function i'm going to talk about to calculate the sum how then do you calculate sum in what excel we can equally get a sum for these numbers so let's let's assume over here i'm going to calculate and get my sum within this particular cell what i'm going to do is that i have to use the equal to sign again sum and you need to make sure you open parentheses so we want to find the sum from fiat down to the last figure once again so when i select and I drag to the last figure close my parentheses and then hit enter i'm able to calculate what the sum that's the total from the top to the down remember you can equally also get a sum by saying equal to so sum let's say this way one two three then let's say 34. notice if i hit enter i can equally do the summation using my own figures okay and to excel if i want to calculate the summation i want to sum two numbers i can easily bring the two equal to sign and then what type in 67 plus let's say 45 when i hit enter i can equally do what the summation for that so basically that's what our first sorry our second so basically this is our second function the next function we are going to talk about is called the sum if so this one is a bit of a logical way of finding summation for a particular number okay so let's say you want to let's put my brand over here so this is my brand right I'm putting my brand name over here and then let me use the sum if function over here so let me say sum if okay so we want to use the sum if so what it means is that we want to find the sum for a specific value not all okay remember when we use the sum when we drag everything we're able to get the numbers that we want so over here i want to use the sum if it's a logical statement so let's say we want to find the sum for only fiat okay we have fiat here and then another fiat we want to find a sum for just the two that is where we can use the sum if we can use a logical statement so if i come here and i enter sum sum if this way so notice what is going to happen we're first going to select the range so we select the range over here so over here i'm going to detect the fiat and then what again we also want the criteria so they want to detect the number so we need to bring comma and we'll get a number where we, the one we want to find the sum for so basically this is going to be here we are going to type that number over here or we're going to type the brand name over here and then we are going to get the summation in this particular column 
and the last thing will be what the sum range so we want to find the sum range from here okay so look at what is going to happen when i hit enter it should be zero but immediately i come here and i type the word fiat and i hit enter look at what is happening i'm able to get the total the total for what fiat we have one year and a one year let's do rough calculation by saying equal to 123 plus what 789 so we should be getting 912 so you notice we are equally getting the same thing so we are using this formula the sum if will be a bit logical so we can spe specify this particular range so the sum if is a bit logical we can within the range we can find the sum for particular range of what numbers okay if i change this fiat to let's say okay i have nissan over here and i have another nissan over so if i change fiat to nissan look at what is going to happen and i hit enter look at this so i'm having nissan here 680 another nissan 30 what four so within this particular range using the sum if i'm able to get the total we also have let's say dodge we have one dodge here another dodge here we can equally update that by typing the word dodge and i hit enter it's going to give me the summation for the two so that's what my third okay so that's my third function okay the next function i'm going to talk about is the count okay so the count allows to count a cell that contain numbers what do i mean by that if i count this cell this cell contain text so i can't count this i'll show you how we can count this one and another lesson so remember to watch this video to to the end in order to enjoy everything i have for you in this lesson and don't forget to also subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell in order to get updates in order to get update anytime we upload a new content so what i'm going to do is that i want to use the count keyword so let me say count i want to count these numbers so basically this is going to count the cell i don't know let's say we want to get the total number of cells we have here containing numbers so it's going to count cell containing what numbers so if i come here and i use the word the keyword equal to sum sorry we are using the count keyword count and i'm counting from fiat to fiat okay when i close in my parenthesis and i hit enter so this is basically tell me what i have what 10 source of y containing numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so that is basically what you want to do if i want to do this for what the brand notice brand is what not number so if i select this range and i hit enter i notice i'm getting zero so meaning count only work on all numbers so take note of that so the next the next one is going to use the count a the count a the count a is going to work perfectly for the numbers okay so look at what is going to happen let me just take this off and then use the count a notice this the first one the count is working for numbers and it's not working for source so let's try the count a the count a on the brand now and see what is going to happen so i'll select this so you notice that this time around we are able to use that on our text and it's working perfectly as expected so in the case where you want to use you want to count text just make sure you go with the count a and then if you want to count numbers you go with the count keyword okay So basically this count basically the count a will count cells that has what that are not empty so let's take it that way so basically if i try this what is going to happen is that notice the count a will still work on what the count a the count a will still work on what the numbers okay so take note of that it's still going to work on the numbers and what the text as well okay so this is basically going to count cells that are not what empty the next function we are going to talk about is counts blank what do we mean by count blanks it's going to count as if we have a document and we want to check the cells that are empty we can use the count blank to do that so let's say let me just put in 
anything so let's see over here deleted a number for so let's see let me delete some few numbers from this list the numbers let me delete few and then we can use the count blank to get those numbers it's going to tell us the number of cells that we have that are empty okay, so let me come here and just type in the word count blank okay so we'll come here and state our formula here so let me say equal to count blank and then we're going to select this range once we select this range and close our parenthesis and hit it so you notice what we have three cells that are blank one two three so basically this is how we can use a count blank keyword it's going to retain cells that have no value okay just as the name sound okay so basically we've been able to use some functions over here so that's our sixth function our seventh function is going to be the count if So count if is also logical. It's going to count total items within a list. Okay. So let's see what is going to happen. If you come here, let's say I'm going to put in the count what? Count. So I'm going to put in the count if over here. And I'm going to find a value down here. So it's going to count the total number of items in the list so it's also going to be logical just as we use the sum if so you want to count just a bit of number so let me put the brand here again i'm going to put the brand name here okay so when i come here i want to use the count if keyword so count count if so it's going to take two numbers that's a range and then what criteria okay so what is going to happen is that i'm going to count this is my range fiat and then comma and the criteria so what i'm going to criteria is what i'm going to select so if i type in fiat it should give me it should count fiat for me the number of fiat i have within my list if i type in dodge it should give me the total number of dodge i have within my list okay so my my criteria is here i'm going to list I'm going to type my brand name over here and it's going to tell me the number of the brand of cars I have within that particular what range okay that's good so when I hit enter zero I don't have anything by minute I type in the word fiat so the minute I type in the word for fiat and I hit enter I'm getting two meaning I have fiat here I have another fiat over here okay let me type in a word like Nissan Okay, so Nizan is also going to give me what two. Okay, Nizan, I'm also having two Nizan cars over. Here. So let's say, okay, Dodge is also two, and I think Toyota have one Toyota, so we should be getting one for Toyota. Okay, Toyota. So you see what is happening. So the count if also is a logical statement. So we are going to count a range or the occurrence of a particular brand so the number of times it appears we're going to use the count keyword count if keyword to look at the number of occurrence of that particular text or documents okay so that's our seven function the next function we are going to talk about is the concatenate so basically concatenate join two cells or it combine two information in a different cells into one particular cell so how then do we use the concatenate keyword i have another worksheet over here containing some value we are going to use so our first name last name and then we have full name so i want to join john do i want these two names to appear within the store how then do i go about it that is where the concatenation or the concatenation keyword is very important so we can use that function to concatenate or to join two words what is meant is to join two words together so we want to join the value in what this column and then this column together over here so to use that key basically what happened is that we use the concatenate keyword to join two words within a cell together in another cell so we have first name and the last name we want to join them into this cell and call them what full name okay so what is going to happen is that i can just go ahead and use the word concatenate okay so i'm using this hit the tab key and i want to 
get a name for these two i'll select this comma and then the last name okay if i hit enter I notice i'm getting john doe if i drag this down here you're going to apply to the rest but this are two names we want to join but we want to create a space between them how then do we go about that so let me go and do and then work on this okay so i'm going to delete this let me delete this and then look at what we are going to do. let's create some space between them so i can say concatenate again hit the tab key and then i want to go with the first name first comma so this time i'm going to bring I'm going to bring empty code over in order to create a space between my names okay then the last one will not come okay in this way we are going to get a space between our first and the last name when I hit enter I notice that I have what John do I'm creating a space between the two so this time if I drag everything down here I should give I should get my names neatly what displayed within my document okay so that is our eighth function the ninth function is going to be how to use the drop down list within excel okay so drop down so let's say you want to create a drop down so let's say names okay so over here let's assume we want to just make a drop down once you click over you can select the names from the drop down so this is a full name you want to easily create a drop down to do that you need to go to so notice we are going to have our tabs over here to create a drop down let's just go to data that's that the tab create click on the data tab and then you go to what data validation click on data validation and then within the allow column we're going to select a list because we want to create a list so the source over here you can create your own source so if i say let's say kofi comma ama and i click over here you notice i'm creating a drop down list so when i click over i can select those particular names from the drop down list but let me do go and do i want to create that particular drop down list out of what this full name how then do i go about this when i select this same tab the data tab i'll go to a data validation click on what data validation when i pick list from this this time around i'm going to select the source so i'll click over here and then the source is this i'll drag across this so this is what i'm going to do when i hit enter go to ok i'm building what my list out of what already existing list so these are the two ways in which you can create a list using excel the last thing i'm going to talk about is the last function is maximum so i'll go back to my first data so i can easily find a maximum from this list so one of, let me delete this from here I'll delete this and then I want to find the maximum within this numbers. So basically, you could see that we have 890, so that should be the maximum weight. So if I go down here, type the mass, and I come in and I use equal to maximum this way. And I want the maximum from the top to the down. Drag, just drag around from the top to the bottom. Close this, your parentheses, hit enter, and it should be what? Getting what? The maximum number among the list. You can equally do for the minimum as well. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload new content. So just keep sharing this video and hit the like button and leave your comment below and I'm definitely going to reply to that. So, till I come your way another time. Enjoy and then take care and max up. We are going to survive this COVID-19 together. Bye-bye.